Okay, and now, well, welcome to this one. This is uh, seeing if I can make the 76s any better. Because, like, looking at who they have here, they have Embiid, Ben Simmons, Tobias Harris, and Seth Curry. Right, that, that, that's their starting. Who do they have at the small forward? Hold on, I have to have a look here. Who do they... They have Danny Green at small forward. Okay, so I'm just going through some minor adjustments on mainly those two people. And... Now we come to here, we got that. Already, our team is a fair bit better. Like, we're not going to be able to lock people down with, well, Tobias Harris and Seth Curry, but we do have the White starting, who is a great defender. We have Tobias, who is a great scorer. Seth, who is a great scorer. And Bede, who is pretty good in everything. And Ben Simmons, who is a good passer, good lockdown, and good, yeah. Uh, and for some reason, he is now uh, 6 foot 11. I'm fairly sure he uh, announced that himself. I didn't do anything about that. But he's now 6 foot 11. Which scares me, because uh, he is taller than Dwight. He is almost as tall as Embiid. And he is still the tallest point guard. But with those minor changes, let's see how we go for the first uh, two weeks. And I, again, turn injuries off, chemistry off. Okay. Well, I mean, that's not worth it. Um, first two weeks have finished. At that, he almost got a uh, double double. Hit, and B did get a double double. Benson was almost had a triple double. And uh, yeah, the other two, well, minus Tobias scored. So Seth Curry scored. Um, I mean, like, I can't really complain about anything there. Now, in this one, uh, what's this? A double-double. Tobias Harris scored. Ben Simmons got a double-double. Dwight, he done well. Uh, Seth Curry looks like he's going to be a very useful option here at 30 years old. But now, I'm going to start making some trades. Getting rid of Tobias Harris. I want a small forward who can defend. Like Chris Middleton, obviously. Uh, Zach Levine, can he really defend? No. Uh, Kemba, he's a riot. But he's awesome, yeah. Um... Aaron Gordon's not the best. Tim Hardaway Jr. He's not great. Pascal. Ooh. Ooh. Pascal might be uh, the guy. And we're getting a smaller contract, which is good. Damar. He's not great at it, but... You know... Um, I, my guess is Pascal, maybe John Wall. But definitely Pascal. If that's happening, I want, um, not a first, not that big of a first one, give me that one. Uh, 
Hell no. Okay, um... Give me your second round. What's the point in that? Okay. Um, whoa, that's not it. That one. Deal. He gets a little tiny bit worse. Can't complain. Uh, okay, now Seth Curry. Who can you bring us? If he can't bring us anyone overly good, then he's brought us Pat Bev. Oh, well, we definitely have a uh, pick for it. Um. Oh, well, and we also got Chris Dunn. If you want someone that's a tiny bit taller and has a better mid range, not as good as three point though. Um. Number Pal. He might not be a bad one to bring in. He has good three point, good perimeter. Um. He's definitely an option. I'm really thinking Pat Bev right now, but then again, possibly getting on Pal. Ooh. Let's look at the salary. Um. We. Hmm. This might be worth it. Because I'm fairly sure Pat Bev will be over an 80 when I put him to shooting guard. He is an 80. Oh, that's fine still. Um, now we have some other people. I might keep Danny Green because he's a good defender. He, uh, and he, uh, might be. You know, because we have Matisse Stivel for the shooting guard position as a backup, who is fine. He is a good player. Well, I don't know why people shit on him all the time. But Shake Milton, if he could bring us a uh, another or a better power forward, maybe Brooke Lopez going to be the power forward. Uh, who do we have? Yeah, so let's, let us bring Al Horford back. Uh, I guess Brook Lopez seems like he might be the best idea. He um he doesn't have a, he doesn't have good rebounding. It makes no sense to me. Have that one then. That's probably one I wanted to start off with, but I don't care. And by the looks, the white will actually be uh the backup power forward for Brook Lopez, which is still fine. But I would much rather have the uh rebounding over the shooting. But it'll be fine, don't worry about it. Um Okay, well, the white is still starting, that's good. Uh, so we have backup point guard in Tyrese Maxi, good. Uh, backup shooting guard in Matisse Dival, backup small forward in Danny Green, backup power forward in Brook, and I guess I could chuck Brook as. Um. As a center as well. Pat Bev is starting as well. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, that works. Uh, grit and grime works well for him. But I did make this team to be all about defense. Okay, remember, defense is key. And, uh... Now thinking about it, Brook Lopez doesn't have very good rebounding, so... But he's actually somewhat better at defense. This makes no sense. Uh, Thievel might be a better option for the small forward position. Okay, let's uh, make that active. Come to here. Matisse, now he goes up. Now we also have Danny Green, who's not doing anything, and we need a back up. Oh, I don't like that. Um, okay, trade. We'll trade Danny Green out for a backup shooting guard that can defend. Chris Dunn might be the best option we have. Um, Cameron Payne, nope. Uh, Peyton Pritchard, nope. Okay, I guess we are taking Chris Dunn. I cannot believe that I am putting Pascal Siakam behind Matisse Stivel. But it just fits a lot better. And I'm actually thinking about putting Brook Lopez in front of Dwight. Uh, so now let's come here. Let's get a new defense coach, Doc Rivers. You have been here for like six months or something, like seven months. Oh, you're getting fired. And Lucas, Lucas, yep, you're here now. First scoring option, easily uh, we don't have anyone that's should be really scoring. Uh, ben Simmons, uh, actually, and Bede, Ben Simmons, and then probably Matisse. And he knows what he's doing here, so that's all up to him. So we're working good. Kendrick Nunn looks like he's a, a pretty good fit all around, so that's good. Uh, now we'll simulate through the regular season. Well, we'll simulate up until the... Um, up until the All-Star captains. Then we'll stop. Then we'll simulate the regular through the rest of the season. And so, what's this? It'll be fine. Um. So I guess I'll see you in the three seconds that it's going to cut for. And here we are, Giannis and LeBron. Wonder where we've seen that before. So we have Embiid on the starters, Simmons on the reserves, and that's probably it. So we'll simulate the regular season. Um, the trade deadline. No, we don't worry about that. Um, we're winning. We're losing. You know, it's just the normal season. Let's see how we can get in. Like how we can go.
Wow. We're going a lot worse than I was expecting. But conference rank 5 isn't, 4 isn't terrible. Giannis got MVP. Lamella got Rookie of the Year. Devontae Graham got 6th man. Giannis got Defensive Player of the Year. Christian Wood got Most Improved. And no one cares. Um, so there's, whoa, okay. So on the first team, we have no one. On the second team, we have Ben Simmons. On the third team, we have Embiid. On the all-defensive first team, we have Ben Simmons. On the all-defensive second team, we don't have anyone. Um, we don't have any of the rookie ones. Okay. So now we, we go up against the Atlanta Hawks, who have... A pretty good all-round team. It's the exact same team that they have now. So, I don't think we trade with them. Um, first game we win. Second game we win. Third game we lose. Fourth game we win. And fifth game we win. Now, we get to go up against Cleveland. Who I wasn't expecting to make it through. Who um, have the exact same team as they do now. Not sure how Pat Bev's going to go. Let's hope he can lock Sexton down. And the rest of it... Oh, that Kevin Love one might be a difficult one as well. We win the first game. We win the second game. We win the third game. We lose the fourth. We lose the fifth. And we won the sixth. Either way, this next one we're not going to have fun with. And it's the Nets. And... Okay. We're going to have some trouble. That is an indefinite. We win the first. We win the second. We win the third. We just outright swept them. Well. Uh, first game. Yeah, Kyrie, we did get pretty locked down. Durant got pretty locked down. Uh, Harden got locked down. We done well in that first game. Second game. Uh, more of the same. Lockdowns. Lockdown. Lockdown. And he still got 20 points. But that's beside the point. Um, he got locked down. We have made it to the uh, player finals against the Clippers, who have essentially the same team as they had this year. Now, we have two lockdowns going against each other. Kawhi going against Pascal. Uh, we have a 50-50, I would say. We win the first. We win the second. We win the third. And we outright swept them. And Bede gets MVP of the year. What? Um, we lock down Paul George and Kawhi. That locking down Kawhi will be a difficult thing. Um, we done more of the same. They kind of done it to us as well, though. We didn't. Uh, what? How did they... We won by two. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and then we locked them down again. And they couldn't stop us. Now, in the first game, they uh, locked us down. The second game, they locked Embiid down. Uh, the third game, we saw they locked us down. Um, and yeah. But we won. So there you go. If you if the Sixers just do what I've done and get these people and like do what I said to do then they will win. And well then again they also have to uh get a purely defensive coach. That might not be as easy. But, you know. Another thing that they could have done was uh, left him at power forward. 
and then up to him to small forward. Matisse could stay there, uh, and something like that. Although Tari Snaxi isn't a terrible defender. Probably should have checked that. We probably didn't need to uh, get whoever we had. But, well, we won the ring, so half of the challenges we have done so far, we, uh, we won. So, that's a pretty good record. One, one for two. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.